Got an F-150 in today with the 4.6 in it. So, it's got a few bad coil packs in it. It's also got leaking intake gaskets. But my biggest concern is that noise. Almost positive it's coming from this bank. So we're gonna work on getting the valve cover off on this side. Start inspecting the top end of it. See if we can find the source of that noise. Taking the valve cover bolts off, but listen to this. See if this one does what the last two have done. That one didn't do it. These last two made a gushing noise when I took them out and I actually pushed oil up out of their holes. It's weird. Let's see if I can get another one to do it. All right, so we tore this thing down yesterday to try to find a ticking noise that I was hearing out of this bank of the engine. And I've got it apart, and other than a lot of timing chain slack, I can't find that ticking noise. So they've had issues before, like three different times it's blown out the third spark plug back on this side. Now, it's got a bunch of loose coil packs in it, the intake gaskets are leaking, this thing has issues. But I'm trying to diagnose this ticking noise before we go any further, because we need to find out what's wrong with it. Now this is a 4.6.2 valve. Now, I don't know how much you guys know about these engines, there's the 2 valve and the 3 valve. The three valve is the one that has that really long spark plug that's known to seize in the head and break. Two valves, though, just use a regular spark plug. There's nothing special about the two valve. Uh, I mean, this is the same engine, I think, since 94 that Ford's been running. It used to be the PI, then I went to coil on plug in, like, I think it was 96 or 97. Anyway, so I went to go pull the plug on it for that cylinder three because it's blown it out a couple times, and I wanted to inspect what the repair was on it because a lot of times I run into people using cheap inserts, and if it was a poorly done repair, we were going to go ahead and redo it while it was here. But the 5 eighths spark plug socket didn't pull that plug out of there. And I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. So I went and grabbed the 9 16 plug socket, and I just fought that spark plug out of there, and it was a pain in the ass. I really thought that I was pulling out the threaded insert. But no. Do you guys see what I'm seeing here? Because that's a freaking three-valve spark plug. It's got the wrong plug in it. And the difference is a three valve plug, instead of just going down threads here and having a little strap on the end, they come out about this far. So I'm going to have to get the bore scope now and look down in that hole and see if the rest of this plug is even freaking there. But I'm going to guess that that knocking noise I'm hearing, or ticking noise, is what's left of that spark plug having gone through a piston. So let's get the bore scope and try to look down in the hole and see if there's anything else still down in there. If there is, I'll go find the three valve kit to punch the rest of that plug out. All right, so if you guys can uh, see actually there's a side camera option on that you might be able to see the other uh, Either way the top of that piston is not looking great I can see right down here the outer edge of the piston is damaged the rest of this spark plug is nowhere to be found So it, the cylinder has literally beat the end of this spark plug off. Yeah, it's not even the right spark plug for the motor Yeah, it's way too long of a plug. So this thing has just destroyed itself and that's probably why it kept launching spark plugs out Yeah Jesus Christ. So, because somebody doesn't know the difference between a two valve and a three valve forward, puts the wrong spark plug in. I'm surprised it went on the play. Yeah, well, now this guy's going to need an engine. So, I mean, there's nothing in there. You can see there's been a lot of bypass in this hole. You can see carbon buildup and stuff. But, that's going to be an engine because somebody put the wrong spark plug in. Good news is now I don't feel like an idiot though because I've been trying to find that engine noise all day yesterday because it sounded like a valve train noise. Mm -hmm. These things have bad rockers, they have bad lifters, there's a lot of things that could cause it. But when I pulled the engine uh, down, spark plug <laughs> I, you know, I couldn't find anything on here other than some timing chain slop, which on a 200,000 mile engine, I'm not surprised a lot of people aren't very good at keeping up on the maintenance schedule of timing chains, but still, know what you have, know what you should be buying parts for. And the sad part is, this wasn't done by the customer, this was a shop. Yeah. Another shop did this. So, it's gonna be a fun phone call in a little bit here. But, let's see if this person wants to put an engine in this F-150. I mean, the truck doesn't look bad, the interior's in decent shape. Oh, there's a nail in the tire, but mm -hmm. it's a pretty clean truck, so I would assume they're probably gonna wanna fix it. But, one way to find out.